Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me and chit chat, catch up, all that good stuff. So let's get started. I already prepped my skin, had my Ula Henriksen Banana, eye, Banana Bright Eye Cream and my Neutrogena um, Hydro Boost Water Gel Moisturizer. Love this moisturizer for everyday use. Um, it's on the more affordable side and gets the job done. Different setting, obviously. Um, a lot of changes have happened within the house. So, also shout out to my roommates at 700 Club. That's what we call ourselves. It's not actually the 700 Club, you guys. So, yeah. Okay, how do I do this? Things that have happened recently. What's happening? Let me, let me adjust myself real quick. Okay, so if you're not following me on Instagram and or Twitter, you should. If you like food videos and uh, travel stuff and volleyball things and life stuff. This is the ELF Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. Uh, my sister actually really recommended it to me. She loves this for her brows and use it all the time, so I was like, why not? Okay, anyway, so if you guys haven't been following me on my Instagram and Twitter, I've been uh, hinting for a while that I'm going back to the Philippines. And by hinting, I mean like full on telling people I'm going back to play in the Philippines. It's really hard to talk and do eyebrows at the same time. I've been getting dinner with like so many people and seeing so many people before I leave. It's been really fun catching up with everyone. Last night, I actually went to dinner with a former teammate of mine. I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer uh, in the shade Medium 26. And I'm gonna take Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I have the mini bottle because I just I don't really bake. I just use this to set my eyelids. Yeah, so I'm going back to play, you guys. That's basically my update. And uh, right now it's Wednesday. I'm going back to the East Bay to hang out with some family. And then I take off this Friday, traveling from SFO to Manila. So I'll definitely be taking you guys along there. A big life change. I'm taking a break from coaching to go chase my other volleyball dream, my original volleyball dream, which is to go play. It's really amazing and crazy when you just have the right people in your life to give you extra push. Um, I'm going in with the Marvelous Mauves palette by Dose of Colors. I feel excited, also nervous, also just a mixed bundle of emotions, honestly, because it's scary. Like dropping everything you have here and just chasing a dream <laughs> it's not it's not been an easy journey first of all I'm turning 28 next month and you know obviously raises the question um, can I still hang can I still play with these younger kids age is just a mentality and i actually feel is i honestly even feel stronger than i i was in college or i was the last two times i played and i'm honestly you guys i'm loving getting older can i just say that i'm loving it as long as my body can take it i'm loving it Life is too short to not do what you want to do with good intent. Everything's got to be with good intent. Okay. Getting to that stage where it could go really wingy or it could stay nice and just natural. Moving on. I think I'll just pout on my face a little bit. I'm gonna go in with Bare Minerals Original Foundation in Golden Ivory 7.
So I'm not really able to reveal my team name yet. Um, I will reveal that on Instagram and or Twitter, so make sure you guys follow me there. Um, my personal account, which I post more on, <laughs> which I post more on, is uh, Iris Tolanata. It's my first and last name. And then my Bali Blog It Instagram. I don't really post on there. I don't really know what to do. I don't know if it like, I don't know if I should keep two Instagrams or separate them or what. You guys let me know. Give me your thoughts. Would you rather see two Instagrams, like mostly volleyball stuff on one rather than the other? Or would you rather see one full Instagram? Let me know. This is the matte bronzer, matte bronzer by NYX. Okay, we're gonna go into a blush. This is the Note blush in Desert Rose number five. Blush, my blush, brush. Oh, there it is. Like a nice peachy, dark peachy color. Now this is very pigmented. Okay, I'm gonna take the Morphe and Bretman Rock, <laughs> Morphe and Bretman Rock highlighter palette, Babe in Paradise. Um, I've been really digging this color, Baby Girl, so far. I've been using it a lot since I've had my purple hair. Um, so we're just gonna throw that on my face, cause I want to. Okay, now we're gonna set my face. Okay, now we're gonna set my brows. Lime Prime Brow Gel. Scara. And put on Maybelline Snap Scara in the shade R901, AKA Ultraviolet. I've just been all about color, you guys. Color, color, color. Okay, lashes are curled. Time to apply mascara. This is the finished look. This is just a uh, sparkly mix Barkelson, and um, I'll catch you guys later. Oh, also, this was supposed to be a get ready with me, but I'm not very good at these, so it kind of turned into just like a uh, watch me get ready, and I think I'll just turn it into a vlog. We're now at Double Dragon after going to uh, Ross. Got got a good purchase, you know. Double Dragon is a place my family and I used to go to like all the time especially after Sunday church. So we're about to have some bomb Chinese food. Okay, our last night together for a long time. We're here with our families at Sweet Tomatoes. Oh my gosh, whoa, whoa, whoa the hair. Do you have anything to say? Yeah, I'm not sure. That's what you want to say before you send me off. As time goes by, as time goes by, on the blink of an eye. Okay, my last lunch in America for a couple years. Oh. <laughs> my favorite place, Chevy's. No same more ID. I am all packed up. I'm ready to go. Parents are with me in the car, dropping me off, saying goodbye to 700 Club. Okay, I made it to the Philippines. I'm a little tired. It's about 7.48 a.m. on Saturday, July 14th. Um, just getting a little situated here, and then uh, let me go explore a little bit. Uh, probably go to the mall. I need to buy some stuff for my living situation. So there's that. Yeah, that's. I don't really have much planned today. 
uh, well, we're just kind of going to see where the day takes me. And that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. It's almost the end of day one. It's about 6.30 p.m. And what I, I couldn't really record because I'm not very comfortable doing that yet in a p very public setting and you have to be aware of your surroundings and what you're doing. Um, so I don't really want to vlog like walking into shopping malls and all that stuff unless I feel like super duper 1000% safe. But um, got my nails done today, got a mani-pedi. That's one of the things I really miss about the Philippines is like super cheap beauty stuff. Did that, went grocery shopping. Um, what else did I do? Well, I didn't really get groceries. I only got like emergency food type of stuff. And then, oh, so the, the mall is pretty close to where I'm at right now. And uh, on the way home, I decided to just walk in the rain. And I'm pretty sure I like super messed up my rainbow sandals, so that was fun. So I tried to clean them as best as I could. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get ready for bed, to hang out, and just chill. It's a pretty good day one, I would say. Pretty good overall. Good morning, it's about 7.42 a.m. on Monday, July 15th. <sighs> I woke up at 6 a.m. today because I just couldn't sleep very well. Well, today, uh, well right now, I'm just browsing online and watching YouTube videos. I'm about to work on a couple of videos, or try to at least, and then vlog a little bit more, probably go to the mall, eat, get a facial today, because my skin is, uh, it's a little crazy. It's a little crazy. Yeah, so you hear that noise there. That means it's time for me to get out of the house. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. I'm gonna try to go to Marugame today. Love that place. What's up guys? Just doing another check-in. Um, Hi, Burger Times has announced online that I am part of Team Motolite. And let's do it. I'm excited. Um, of course, with being a pro athlete, um, you're going to receive a lot of criticism. You're going to receive a lot of praise. You're going to receive literally the extremes of both ends. And um, I've obviously, I put myself out there. And, um, you know, being on the internet as well, um, you know, always always puts a little bit more pressure on you. Um, but I just wanted to talk about it and just address it. I'm feeling excited, I'm feeling a little nervous, but I'm prepared for it as much as I can be. I know what's coming, I've been here, this is my third time coming back to the Philippines to play. I'm really excited to learn more about my culture. I'm excited to set an example again as a Filipino-American player. Um, I'm excited to play under an American coach and uh, see how we can um, help take this team to the top one step at a time. So yeah, just a ball of emotions. i trying not to be on social media too much, but obviously it gets a little lonely here when <laughs> when you're by yourself, um, but obviously, you know, it is what it is, it's, I'm gonna be on social media no matter what, um, especially since it's just me here right now, so that's, that's that, just wanted to check in with you guys and just go through, uh, the initial emotional state of finally letting everyone know what team I'm playing for, but that's it. I have a meeting to go to soon, and I will catch up with you guys later. Good morning, everyone. Uh, today's my first training. Woo -woo. I'm packing up right now and then getting uh, everyone's basalubong bags ready just to hand out and everything. Uh, basalubong means like souvenirs or like gifts from wherever you're traveling from. Um, like That's really huge in Filipino culture, at least. And uh, for some reason, Filipinos love candies and chocolates, so that's when I got them. Okay, so it has officially been one week since I've been here in the Philippines, and I've gotten the questions like, 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Just almost dropped my laptop. I've gotten the questions like, have you adjusted? Um, the answer is yes and no. Like, it's still really hot in the gyms that we practice in. So, uh, you know, breathing gets a little uh, huffy and puffy up in there. Not much has changed since I left. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing. But, um, yeah, everyone's still really friendly here. Um, my coaches are awesome. My team is awesome. They are really nice to me. And um, management has been treating me well for sure. And uh, I haven't been doing much besides, like, I wake up in the morning, um, eat a small breakfast, get to training. We have uh, pre-training meals and post-training meals, thank God. So I uh, just get to practice. We get our ankles taped, all that stuff, do warm-ups. Um, and then we get into intense practices. And then nothing extreme has been going on. Um, I love going to the malls, obviously. There's a lot to do there. They're like, the malls are really big here. There's like hundreds of different stores to look at. That wraps up my first week of being here in the Philippines. Honestly, I like doing vlogs, so I'm just gonna post vlogs whenever I can, whenever there's like actual things going on so that it's not, um, you know, the same stuff every day. So let me know what you guys wanna see. And, um, yeah, let's chat in the comments down below. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Iris Tolonata or at Volleyblogit. Um, and that's it. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.